Yeah, Shalom, 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 Israel. Give our praises and honor to the omnipotent power, Yahweh, and um, to his only begotten son, Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, um, kings of kings, lord of lord, conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Yeah, we're going, um, a brother asked me, um, do this small topic about Moab and a man. Like the brother asked me my question on it, he asked me my opinion on it. And um, he asked me if the Chinese and Japanese are the children of Moab and Amman. And um, with my studying, my travels, I've not seen it. But first I want to say this, because I know um, brothers that was in One West back in the days, they more will have an opinion. The first person who teach a topic in One West was Ishaya. Right? Ishaya was one of the seven. And um, I spoke with Yeshaya personally. I have Yeshaya number in my phone. Yeshaya have my numbers. We lived close together when we was in Queens. Well, Yeshaya is a brother like this, very superstitious. Don't give nobody his number. Don't tell nobody where he live at. Um, but if senior brothers need his number, I can pass it on. Um, Yeshaya was the first brother who teach a topic in One West. And Yeshaya came out and Yeshaya... He mentioned it to Johanna, General Johanna, when they meet in the park a couple days ago. And he also tell me personally that he laps on it. You understand me? He said, Yeshaya admit, he said, Moab and Amman is not the children of, um, is, 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 um, is not Chinese and Japanese. Right? He never tell me who the Chinese and Japanese was, but he tell me that it was something that he heard on. Right? And um, so I want to say that. And secondly, they found the Moabite rock in 1978 with the name of the Mosa on it. When they found the Moabite rock, <laughs> it wasn't found in China or Japan. The Moabite rock was found in Jordan because that was the land that was given to Moab and Amman, the land of Jordan, right? So now we, st we, we get past that. So we have historical proof and evidence that finding Jordan in, the in um, 1978, which was the Moabite rock with the name of Yahweh on it, right? So now we're going to go to the, um, the geographic um, point, right? And now I just want you all to Google, um, there's a book out there named the Gotham. You understand me? The Gotham was the book about the Chinese invasion of Rome and all that stuff. And um, the Chinese back then in the days, they were calling them barbarians for the bush meat and the animal and all that stuff that they used to eat. So if you can get that book, you name the Gotham. I have it, but I, don't, I think I have it. It still might be in my suitcase. Um, <clears throat> you can read. And even that book will tell you in the time when Moses left Egypt, people was in Asia, man, so-called Asia. People was in that land already. And when I read Numbers 21, and Moses left. When Moses crossed through the Red Sea, he bucked upon Moab and Amalekites, man. Because Jordan was given to the land of Esau, Moab and Ammon. Right? So we want to get um, the historical point of view of it. Like if Lot, Abraham's nephew, was in Sodom and Gomorrah, which all that is bordered to Israel. How would Lot reach over there in China. And even if you do the historical point of view of it, Josephus made mention of Moab and Amman in the land of Moab and Amman in 70 AD or 73 AD. Josephus made mention of it. So now the question is how could Moab and Amman leave Jordan and reach to China, Japan? So now brothers will say Nebuchadnezzar push him over there. But it don't match up with the history of China. You understand me? The major country that invaded China was the British. Nebuchadnezzar Empire never reached that far to conquer China. Right? So that's a part of it. I know British going research now come with a million precepts to match the history up. And notable, last year, uh, me and a couple of my comrades, we went to Basra. So we go over there to Jordan, we cross Israel, walk across into Jordan. And when we reach over there to Jordan, the taxi driver that bring us, and I sure brothers that was with me remember, 
the taxi driver's name was Abdul, and he say he was a Moabite. He tell us straight up, my name is Abdul and I'm a Moabite. So um, brothers questioned me about it for years, for months, and I have it pondering, which I did, don't have the understanding already that the children of Moab and um, Aman was not Chinese and Japanese. Cause me and Banyamin did a class, you two took it down, right? So anyway, we was pondering on that throughout the years, like Nebuchadnezzar, when Nebuchadnezzar saying push him to the man of the east, the east is Arabia, because there was no country named Saudi Arabia. So the country name was Arabia. So Nebuchadnezzar pushed him to the east. That's why I'm gonna read Ezekiel, um, I think 25 and seven, between in Ezekiel 25, when I read it, it tell you that the man was gonna build palaces in the land of Moab. Right? So now today you have Jordan, the king of Jordan, King Abdul II, he's a white man. He's an Edomite still ruling in that region. Right? The scripture telling in Psalms that Moab is gonna be a wash pot. They are. You understand me? Moab and a man is they, they get oppressed and suppressed more than anybody. Because you're going to find out that the Palestine are the children of Moab today. Right? That's my understanding. That's where my understanding brings me. The Palestine and those native Jordanian are the children of Moab and Amman today. You understand me? And they have nothing. They, they can't can even put up a leader. They have no representative. Nothing. Right? And um, there was a next point I want to bring. So, um... Yeah, so all right, let's go in the scriptures. The first scripture I want to start with is Amos, the second chapter, and we're going to check the geography um, point of view of Moab. Because Moab and Ammon always bothered Israel. So the question I want to ask if Israel was not in the land, why would Moab and Ammon left the land of Israel, pack up and go to China? And as I say, if you check before, in. Um, the time when Moses leave Egypt, it will tell you people inhabiting China at that time. But Moses met Moab and Amalekites in the wilderness of Jordan. Right? So him, John, Moab and Amman, Lot always want the land that was for Abraham. So why would he just pack up, leave Israel, we not there, and went all the way to China? And remember, brothers and sisters, there's no country and there's no way in the Middle East. The Middle East was something made up by the so-called white man. So I want to go to Amos, the second chapter, to see the geographic um, point of view, what, what I want to bring. Right? So this is Amos 2, verse 1. It said, Thus saith the Mosai, For a three transgression of Moab, for the four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. But I will send fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the place of Kerat. And Moab shall die with tumult, with shouting, and with the sound of the trumpet. So look at verse 2. He said, But the, I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the places of Kerat. Where is Kerat? If you have an ancient map, it will tell you that Kerioth was two city that border the land of Judea. So you see here, the Mosai telling you the chief city that he's going to judge with Moab, that city there, Kerioth, was what? A border to the nation of Israel. Even until this day. Right? You can Google it. You can read it. And um, it say um, Kerioth. Google it. The name of two cities mentioned in Hebrew Bible, the spelling Kerioth appears in the King James Version of Amos 2 and 2. A town in the south of Judea. You understand me? He even go as far as to tell you that um, with the name alone, Judas Iscariot came from there. That's what Google said. I don't have the proof of that. But the mere fact is, if you look on the ancient map in Israel, you will see Kerioth was there, is the land of Moab. It bordered Israel then and there. Right, verse 3, and I will cut off the judges from the midst thereof and will slay the princess thereof with him, say the Mosai. So now the Mosai telling him, going to judge Moab in his land. He's going to judge Moab by the bard of Israel. That's what the Mosai telling him, going to judge Moab. Um, Zephaniah 2, 
verse 8. We love read Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourself together, right? So this is Zephaniah 2, verse 8. He say, I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revealings of the children of a man, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves, say, magnify themselves against their border. So the most I say, hear the reproach. And he see the children of Israel, the children of Moab, they magnify itself against the land of Israel. Because what happened is when Esau came against us, Moab was with Esau against us, man. He said, therefore, as I live, said the Most High of hosts, the power of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even the breeding of the nettles and the salt pits and the perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Can you see, the most I say, when we go back in that land, we're going to spoil them. And when he talk about the salt pit, he talk about all that salt that's in the land of Jordan today, from the so-called Dead Sea, the Sea of Life, go backward. The most I say, we're going to spoil all that region. Because it's very important we understand who Moab is. Because if we don't know who Moab is, Ezekiel 38 is going to turn a lot of people off. And Ezekiel 38 to tell you that Gog and Magog going to come up from the north. Brother said Russia is God, Magog. Is that north of Israel? The only country that's north of Israel is Mongolia. You look on the map, you see where um, Zion is in Tel Arad, And you look north of that, you find Mongolia, man. Right? So it's very important to know who Moab is. So you can find out the prophecy in um, Ezekiel 38. Because a lot of brothers said, Russia won't go against America. The Bible said, nation shall rise up against nation. The last time I checked, the Russian was Edomite and America was Edomite. You understand me? And when I read Ezekiel, um, Revelation 18.21, it tells you that there is a stone. A great stone the most high going drop and said, Thus with violence, that great city Babylon shall be destroyed. The scripture tell her when America destroys say all nation gonna mourn. You understand me? So the understanding I have, that thousand years have not fulfilled yet. Revelation 20 have not fulfilled yet, as some brothers teach. You understand me? So when the and when America go down, all white race going go down, man. America not going to destroy it and you have Esau somewhere else a thousand years later going to get up Libya and Ethiopia to come and war against Israel. When America go down, that's the end of Esau rulership, man. Right? So Ezekiel 38, we're going in something else. So let's get Jeremiah 48, I think. Um, Jeremiah 48, and let's start at 38. He said, there shall be lamentation generally upon the house top of Moab and in the streets thereof, for I have broken Moab like a vessel, wherein is no pleasure, said the Mosai. So the Mosai said, there is no pleasure in Moab. He break Moab as a vessel. Is China broken? China and Japan, China is the most significant country on the planet now. Is China broken? But the Mosai tell you that Moab was going to be broken. Verse 39, they shall hold, saying, how is, it how is it broken down? How ought Moab turn the back with shame? Because that's what Amalek doing to them now. Amalek treating them like there's a there's, there's disease over there in the land. Man. And Esau in the land of Jordan treating them likewise. Right? Verse 39, it said, they shall hold, saying, how is it broken down? How art Moab turned the back with shame? So shall Moab be derision and dismay to all them about him. So he said Moab was going to be in dismay and derision to all the country that's around her. Man. And that's what these people in Israel and um, those so-called Palestine and those um, so-called Jordan, native Jordanians this day. Nobody care much about them. If you say the Palestine are Arab, what Arab tribe are they? What Arab tribe are they? That's why Esau treat them or Esau treat them because Esau treat them like that because Esau know they are the Moabites. Right? Verse 40. 
For thus saith the Most High, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle and shall spread his wings over Moab. Who fly like an eagle? Amalek, when he went down there, man, in 1901, when the British take, kicked the Adam and Turks outside the land of Israel, September 5th, 1901, man. They went down there and they met Moab desolate there until this day. Arafat was a Moabite. Verse 41. Kerata is still the same land again. Kerata is taken. Not China. Kerata is taken. And the strongholds are surprised, are suppressed. And the mighty man's heart in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pan. So you see, when, Amer when British and America went there, man, that's what Moab become. Because the scripture telling you destruction, Moab will never rise. Moab will never excel. Right? The word Japheth means plenteous. China is of the most people on the planet. That's what the word Japheth means. The scripture tells you Moab, Moab, Moab will never have a military or have many people, man. Right? This is verse 42. Um, Jeremiah 48, 42. He said, And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people. Because he had magnified himself against the Most High. So that's what the Most High do. Judge him. So that's why you don't... The native in the land know the Moabites. But he said Moab, Moab will be destroyed from being a people, man. Look how Israel treat them. Look how Esau in Jordan treat them. Right? Um, Isaiah 16. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Isaiah 16, 13. Um, start up verse 12. Isaiah 16, 12. It said, And it shall come to pass, when it is seen that Moab is weary, and the high place, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray, but he shall not prevail. So he said, Moab shall go to his sanctuary to pray, but Moab will not prevail. Who is stopping the people of China today to go worship Buddha? But now, this fulfill on Moab, because Moab cannot, you don't have no sanctuary. You have to go pray to who? The Ishmaelite gods. That was the country of the East in Ezekiel that, that built a palace in him and convert him. And even in Jerusalem, you want to pray for brothers and sisters who have been to Israel. You know when those so-called Arabs trying to go pray to Israel, Esau search them to go pray, and Esau search them back to come and when they leave the prayer room. So he said, And it shall come to pass, when it is seen that Moab is weary, and the high place, the high place is Israel, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray, but shall not prevail. They, they cannot prevail. No matter where they are in the Middle East, whether Israel are in the land of Jordan. Right? Verse 16. This is the word that the Most had spoken concerning Moab since that time. So from that time forward, the Most High spoke this concerning Moab. Verse 14. He said, But now the Most had spoken, saying, Within three years, as the years of an yearling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned. With all that great multitude and the remnant shall be very small and feeble. He said Moab will never have a great multitude. And he said the remnant of Moab shall be very small and they shall be feeble. Is China feeble today? China is the one is Magog. China is the one that when come over Israel to cover up the sky. China is the one. That's why they in Africa now. They the one going to get Libya. Ethiopia. They the one going to get those countries to come against us. When we go back in the land. China is mega today. Mongolia. Vietnam. Korea. Not South Korea. The Philippines. Part of the, some of those people in the Philippines islands. Those are the children of Japhetic. When I read Genesis 10, it tell you, um, in Genesis 10, um, he said the Isles of the Gentiles, man. Indonesia, all those regions, man. China control those regions, man. Those are the Isles of the Gentiles. When I read the Josephus, the Josephus told you that they were nothing more than barbarians, man. 
right? So Ezekiel, um, um, Isaiah 16, 14 said, But now the most had spoken, saying, Within three years, as a year of a year lame, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned, and all that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble. Is China feeble today with that military power? No, but is the people of, of Palestine feeble? Is the people in Jordan feeble? And no numbers. So Esau know what he was doing. That's why Esau treat them. Or we treat them, man. Right? Um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 25. Let's go there and read some. I'm not going to go too much in this. So brothers and sisters, um, you can do your own research on it. And you have to travel to see too, man. You understand? Because as I said, I did have an idea before. But when I went there into Jordan and the people tell me that they were Moabites, what am I going to tell them? You lie. You're not Moabite. One way say, you, 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 whatever, because they haven't said what the Palestine was. But the Palestine are the children of Moab today. And the Jordanians are the children of Amman. The native one that's in Jordania. They tell you that. And the Amalek know it too. That's why Amalek treat them or he treat them. Eh? Alright, this is Ezekiel 25 verse 1. The word of the Most High came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. And say to the Ammonites, Hear the word of Yahweh power. Thus say the Most High, because thou saidest, Ha ha, against my sanctuary, when it was profane. When was that? 70 AD. They were saying, Ha ha. Right, and against the land of Israel when is what when it was desolate, when the land of Israel was desolate, seventy A.D. until now. That's why they march up up there in our land. That's why Esau, the most I use Esau to fly upon them as an eagle to go make them be in hell in that land, because that's a land that Lot was jealous for from the beginning, right? When it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore, I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession. Who was the man of the east? The Arabs. The most I say, I was going to give your land to the Arabs, to the men of the east for a possession. That's why, brothers, remember who came to Israel with me on their first trip. When I go to the fake river Jordan, when I go over, the only thing you see was palaces, man. I never see so much palaces from my barn, man. Right? So, most I tell in verse 4, Behold, therefore, I will deliver thee to the men of the east for possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee. That was the Arabs. Arab Arabia is the east. So the Most High was going to give Moab and Amman to the men of the east, to Ishmael, man, for possession. So that's why you have those Palestine and those native Arabians now, um, um, native Jordanians, they, they, they converted to Muslim, man. Because the Most High did that to you. Right? He said, um, And they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruits, and they shall drink thy milk. Nobody is doing that to China today. What country is doing that to China? The Most I said was going to deliver the con um, Amman and Moab to the, man of, to the land of the east, man. And the land of the east was going to possess their land. And possess their people, man. That's what Ishmael did, man. Verse 5. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels. And the Ammonites a coaching place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. For thus saith the Mosai, because thou hast clapped thine hand, and stamped with thy feet, and rejoice in art with all thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore I will stretch out my hand upon thee and will deliver thee from a spoil to the Eden and I will cut thee off from the people and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee and thou shall know that I am Yahweh. See what the Most I said? He was going to cut his seed on man. He was going to destroy him. He was going to destroy him. Most I said was going to make him to perish man. For, because he was rejoicing when we was going into captivity, man. So that's why you see the Zionists doing to them until this day. Right? Verse 8. Thus said the Most High Power, because that Moab and Ser 
do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto the Eden. So Moab and Ser, Ser is Esau, man. Up there, Esau, the land of Jordan today, that land belonged to Moab, Esau, and Ammon. All three nations share that land, man. So now Moab and Esau, they do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto the Eden. The house of Judah become like them. When we went off into transgressions, when we went off into wickedness. Right? Verse 9. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from its cities which are Han, its frontiers. The glory of the country, Bet Jamoth, Baal Mahan, Karitam, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them a position that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. So the Most High said was going to lead Moab and Ammon to the men of the east. And now they will not remember as a nation. So that's why everybody, that's why you Israelite call them Arabs, man. Call them Ishmael. But the native of them in the land know that they're Moabites and Ammonites. Because the Most High said was going to make them, verse 10, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites and will give them in possession that the Ammonites may not be remembered among nations. So they don't remember. They don't regard. So they could not be China and Japan when the most I tell you more about a man would not be remembered among the nations. Verse 11. And I will execute judgments upon Moab and they shall know that I am the Mosai. So what the Mosai do, the Mosai use Esau to execute that vengeance upon Moab and Ammon this day. Right? Um, Ezekiel 5, um, Isaiah 15. Right? Isaiah 15. Um, he said, The burden of Moab, because in the night, her of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. Is China waste today? Is China brought to silence? You understand me? So the most I tell you was going to make that land be waste and be silent, man. Because in the night, care and Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. He is gone up to Bajet and to Dibion, the high place to weep. Moab shall haul over Nebro and over Midiba and all their heads shall be baldness and every beard cut off. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth and the tops of their house and in their streets everyone shall hold weeping abundantly. Because the Mosai send the man of the east to them now to destroy them. So you see the city where the Mosai tell you he send the man. It's a Mediba, Bajita, you understand me? Verse 4. And Heshbon shall cry, and Hillel, their voice shall be heard, even unto Jahaz. Therefore, the harmed soldier of Moab shall cry out. His life shall be grievous unto him. The Mosai says, Moab shall cry. His life shall be grievous. Brothers and sisters, that's not a prophecy fulfilled in China and Japan. China and Japan, Japan are the children of Japheth. They over there from Genesis 10. When they, collect, when they took the highlands. The Gentiles, they took the highlands. Right? Verse 5. My heart shall cry out for Moab. His fugitives shall flee unto Zohar. Not the land of the east. Zohar was one of those five cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And heifer of three years old for a boy. The mountain of Lutia with weeping shall they go it up. For in the way of Heronium they shall rise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate. For the hay is withered away. The grass falleth, faileth. There is no green thing. So you see Jordan desolate, man. I've been over there, but you see, man. No green thing, man. Therefore, the abundance they, get, they have gotten and that which they have laid up shall they carry away to the brook of the willows. For the cry is gone round about the borders of Moab, the howling thereof unto Higlim, and the howling thereof unto Berlim, for the waters of Deman shall be full of blood. 
for I will bring more upon the man, lions upon him that escape it of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land. So it's all go back to fulfill where the most I tell you. In um, Ezekiel 25, Moab shall be no more in remembrance. And you can read Numbers 21, I think from verse 11 down. When Moses crossed the Red Sea, he buckled upon Moab and a man over there, man, in Jordan. And if you Google all the time people inhabiting China, man, look up the Han dynasty, the Zan dynasty. They were over there in that time, brothers and sisters. There's a book named the Gotham. Read that. We'll tell you the barbarians, man, when China went against Rome too. So just research it, man. Moab and the man is not Chinese and Japanese. Those Chinese and Japanese, listen, man, Lot was Abraham's nephew, man. You understand me? Lot was Abraham's nephew's brothers and sisters. Lot land was Jordan. Share along with Esau, man. Today is the same thing. Only thing, the Arabs have more power in there and the Edomites have more power in there than more than a man today because that was what the prophecy fulfilled. So just do your research, brothers and sisters. Stay strong, stay prayed up and share information, man. Shalom.